So pull the patches out and let's show you the keyboard. So another key element of the music easel is the 218 touch sensitive keyboard or capacitance keyboard. Um, and this is pretty iconic part of the music easel uh, when you think of kind of any synthesizer uh, with a metallic keyboard. There's plenty of uh, copies of them out there, but the music easel was uh, one of the originators of this kind of concept. Now the 218 is very unique. It's a metal keyboard for starters, but it serves, well, it complements the 208 part of the easel very, very nicely. It allows you to apply portamento to your notes. It has a built-in arpeggiator. Uh, it has these assignable pads, which can do uh, octave switching, can send preset voltages, or have no effect whatsoever. It also serves as the MIDI to 1.2 volt uh, converter. So on the side of the synthesizer, we'll put some shots up. There's a MIDI input. Uh, MIDI goes in there, converted by the 218, and is fed to the music easel. So 218 is connected to the music easel using these three small black banana cables. And I'll show you a couple of cool tricks uh, that it can do. So if I... these to keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. So now the pulsar is no longer driving the sequence. So I will take, I'll show you how the pressure works. Pressure is probably the coolest thing to show. So uh, some of you might be familiar with the Roly, uh, which is a, um, how do they call it now? It's MPE, so it's a multi-dimensional polyphonic expression or MIDI polyphonic expression as it's now called since they decided to agree on a standard. And the easel has a analog kind of version of that and uh, by that I mean you have these pressure outputs which will come out on the purple connectors. So I'm going to take a purple output, put that into the CV attenuator for the Tombra, bring that into the mix and you will see that when I apply some pressure to the key, it changes the timbre. Now it's not how hard you press, that doesn't really make any difference at all, it's how much of your finger completes the circuit. Now this pressure, as you can probably imagine, is pretty potent. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So that is just a basic application of the pressure. But let's take a little more of a uh, different approach. If we take the pressure and apply it to the modulation CV attenuator, we should be able to control the depth of that FM. Or, uh, yeah, it's set to FM, that's right. So. A bit chaotic sounding. I'm sure you get the idea. Basically, I'm controlling both the timbre and the FM at the same time. So, now I'm no keyboard player by any means, so uh, criticize me all you like. Um, so, that's the pressure. Probably another good part to talk about is the arpeggiator. So if I take that out of the mix, and you have uh, two settings, well, three settings for the arp. You have ascending, so the uh, speed you play them in at, so just plays them back. You have random, plays them in a random order. <laughs> now you'll probably notice this uh, white LED here, which is called random voltage. Again, this is another key part of uh, the Buchler way of working. Random voltages are a big thing in Buchler land. And there's plenty of options to utilize them within the easel. For starters, there's three sources. You can take random voltages from the keyboard. So as you can see, I'm holding the arpeggiator. Triggering the random voltages. I can take them from the pulsar. 
which obviously isn't being triggered at the moment, so no uh, result there, or from the sequencer. But for the purposes of this, I'll take them from the keyboard. So let's plumb that random voltage into, actually, I'll go into uh, the pitch CV attenuator for the complex oscillator. Pretty random, eh? Now you'll notice, as I select different volt uh, random voltage sources, the results change. Because they all come out at different rates, different ranges, so you can get varied results depending on which one you go into. Now you can apply this random voltage to any section of the music easel. And it's probably a good opportunity to explain the patching. The music easel's a system that promotes patching. Um, additive synthesizers of this ilk want you to get stuck in. And the music easel is no exception. As you can see, there's multiple different colored outputs. I've explained the random voltages, the pressure, um, and you can probably tell that the pulse is yellow. So the yellow outputs are derived from the pulsar. The envelope generator is orange. So any of these orange outputs are from the envelope generator. And the same for the sequential voltage source. They're, they're, so you can get access to all of these different modules using the shortening bars, as I showed you earlier. Patching, there's a lot of options on offer here. So it's pretty well laid out. It's obviously designed by someone that knew how the system was going to be used. And it promotes a kind of exploration like nothing else. So I'm just going to make a couple more sounds, uh, do a little performance for you, and um, we'll call it a day. So uh, let's go.